Well, you have seen my next guest's blue-collar comedy everywhere, from movies to The Tonight Show and Last Comic Standing. He's open for Tim Allen, entertained troops in Iraq with Drew Carey. Would you please welcome the very funny Rocky Laporte. Thank you. Thank you very much. I had to go to the doctor this week. Don't you hate going to the doctor, folks? Right? Like, they always make you fill out those forms. And they're like, uh, who should we notify in case of an emergency? I'm like, how about the doctor? How about that? <laughs> they're like, no, we mean like a parent. I'm like, oh, well, they're probably just going to call the doctor. <laughs> what are your parents going to do, you know? They're like, Mrs. Laporte, your son's been in an accident. And she's like, Give him ice cream. He really likes the ice cream. <laughs> They're asking my mother for medical advice. Like, she knows what's going on. They go, is he a hemophiliac? And she's like, no, he's, he's Italian. <laughs> That's the stuff they ask you. Because you got a big family? I'm like, my dad's kind of fat. <laughs> I'm like, where's this going? <laughs> Then they always ask you for closest living relative. I'm like, from here or my house? <laughs> I don't know. I put four miles. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> Took him a second. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> right? And, uh, then they always ask you, they go, does anything run in your family? I'm like, uh, Bad decisions and broken dreams. <laughs> and you ever go up there for an exam and then you're sitting up there, you know, and you're in that room with your underwear on and he comes in, he's like, put your clothes back on, I'm an eye doctor. <laughs> yeah, right? Fight a dollar every time that happened. <laughs> and uh, this week we had my big uh, high school uh, GED reunion. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, so I was excited. Folks, I, I didn't do good in school. I remember one time I bring my, re, my report card home. I'm like, I go, hey, Pop, I got a B in reading. He goes, that's a D, you idiot. <laughs> I'm not even making this up. One time, remember those tests they used to give you in school, the ones they go, uh, if Bob is half of Betty's age, and in two years, he'll be two-thirds Betty's age, they go, uh, how do you find Bob's age? And uh, I go up to him and I go, hey, Bob. <laughs> so how old are you now? <laughs> uh, the school teacher was asking around. <laughs> and how old's Betty going to be in case it comes up at a later date? <laughs> yeah. Remember that stuff? Then, then they go show your work, right? They go show your work. I draw a picture of me walking up to Bob. Hey. I'm not even making this up. One time on my report card, I got an F minus. Do you believe that? Yeah, thank you. That's hard to do. It's like, it's like you failed and then some. You know, my, t my teacher, she goes, I think you have trouble comprehending. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I hate it. school. Were you ever crying when you're a kid and then your parents, they go, hey, they go, I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, I currently have something that I'm crying about. <laughs> yeah. But if I need any further assistance... I don't know. Folks, I actually skipped a grade. I went from fifth to third. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. If you weren't doing comedy, what on earth would you be doing? Uh, I don't know. My grandma, she always wanted me to be a pope, you know? <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> No, no big ambition there, huh? Oh, I think, 
I like to wear hats and wave to people, you know. I, I think I'd be a pretty good pope. And they, they probably got good health benefits and stuff, right? I don't know. I think it'd be fun. So uh, how'd you get started? What, what, when did it first like, come into your head? I'm going to be a comedian and walk out there and make people laugh. Well, there's two things, kind of. Uh, one, uh, when, when I was a kid, my uncle was in the business. You know, we used to listen to him on the radio all the time. And uh, it wasn't really a radio. It was like a police scanner, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. he, was, uh, uh, he, he was known as the perp. <laughs> but I remember one time, it was at my sister's wedding. And I was a kid. I was maybe like eight years old. And they had, remember they had live bands back then, you know, yeah, at the yeah. wedding? And, uh, you know, and sometimes you go up and tip them. And I remember the band, like, I couldn't believe these guys would do it. I would go up, i go, hey, my, you know, the bride, which is my sister, I go, she wants to hear Batman. <laughs> so uh, I couldn't believe these idiots. They kept doing it, like some eight-year-old kids coming up. I was asking them to play Rawhide and Batman, and it's like, <laughs> I don't know, I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> so you travel all over the country. Uh, you're at Zany's Club this weekend in Nashville. Yeah, and Sunday I'll be there at uh, Zany's. You guys you want to come out? You know, we've got some seats left, and yeah. I, it's my first time back in Nashville in about 10 years. And, uh, man, the town changed. You guys are doing a lot, you know? A lot of stuff's going on here. You know, I, I think a lot of people don't understand how hard you work to do what you do. Yeah. you got to love doing what you're doing. You could never put up with all of the travel and the, the yeah. constant just shuffling about like that. So what is it deep inside of you, Rocky, that motivates you to want to go out there and make people laugh? I don't know. It's just something I always uh, wanted to do, you know. I always wanted to just, it made me happy to make people laugh, you know. And I, I don't know, like out there, everybody's like, you know, everybody's in a race against each other, you know, at work and in traffic. And I think comedy is the only thing that when everybody's in a room together, brings everybody together, you know. Like we're all, they're laughing. It's a, it's a good thing, you know. So even your dad, who uh, didn't think you did well on your report card, he's happy with you now, huh? <laughs> yeah, my family's proud of me now, you know, after doing it for 20 years. <laughs> they finally came around. <laughs> yeah. But we love having you, Rocky. What a delight Thank to have you. Thank you, sir. Everybody needs to laugh more, and you are helping us do it in a great and wonderful way. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Now, if you are here in the Nashville area, be sure and catch Rocky at Zany's Comedy Club this Sunday, July the 14th. And also, for more tour dates, booking info to have him come to you, other fun stuff, visit RockyLaporte.com. You can also follow him on Twitter and Instagram, at Rocky Laporte. It is right on your screen. His Facebook address, at comedian Rocky Laporte.